Hey, hey, howdy, liberals, my bros. They do entanglement to get entitlement. To entangle is to complicate, and to complicate allows the complicator to be entitled. Did you get that? I'm entangled. Are you? I think so. Liberals, they like to entangle our life. They confuse us with activity and very little achievement, and they're always pushing things over to the left. Let's all be equal as long as I have more. That's what they say. Certainly, that's what they mean. The combined debt of all prime ministers in Canada since 1867, that would be Confederation, is $630 billion. That's more than 150 years. Are you with me? The prime minister in Canada, he's been in office now for five years. And guess what his debt is? It's $662 billion. You have $662 swinging over to $630. This guy has caused more damage than anybody in the world ever could do. And if you're in Canada, good luck. And if you're anywhere else in the world, pay attention. Because you know what? This could be coming to a country near you. Because this guy is doing it and all politicians try to do it. It's all about... I don't know, activity. There's no achievement. And they spend your money and they take away your freedom and take away your rights all of the time. You know, right wingism, it ain't perfect, but I gotta tell you, it's the best thing that there is. And these guys, they don't like that because then there's no control for them. It's all about power. And, you know, they don't even want us to talk anymore. And we're not entitled to talk. It's a fight every day to talk. Last year, we had two million people a week come to our family. Facebook page, and now I think there's 10,000 or something. Everything I say, if I don't use certain words, ah, use my word, eat your slappity slap, and you can't talk. And that's going on more so in Canada than any other country in the world right now with regard to the escalation. Oh, Hitler would be very, very proud. You know what? There is a place, Alberta, that can maybe fix all of this. They want to be a country, the Wild Rose Independent Party. They say, hey, let's have independence. Let's get away from all of this nonsense. There are so many things that they can add to freedom, to good sense. I mean, good sense ain't common, and, and there's not much of that around anymore either. And, and another thing that I would like to suggest, I say another thing because I have a lot of suggestions that I talk to them about, but here's one. I mean, you know what? Uh, they should have, got to find it, it's profound. They should have a special interest group. Every government does. This color and that color and that gender, they're all special interest groups because they don't treat everybody like Canadians. But I have a special interest group too. I've always been against them, but now I'm not because I've created one and here it is. <sighs> Every special interest group preamble has a special cause of action, course of action. But the family, it doesn't. There's no family unit special group thing, right? And Wild Rose Party, why you... Don't you all kind of pick that up and run with it and put it together? If the family could become a special interest group, it would change the entire nation. And in this case, that nation should be Alberta. The objective is to organize, inform, engage, and vote for families to be involved and be that special interest group. Note that everyone has a family. Everyone is from a family. Even if it's a single mother family, it's a family. Okay, note that uh, you got to keep on noting. <laughs> Doesn't matter what color you are, what gender, or, or how you vote. None of that matters. If you're a family, and you have to be, you're a special interest group. There will be a focus on parenting, families, protecting kids, politics, and education. The targeted audience is any parent or family as a whole. The family is a grassroots army. Liberals rightly identify the family as the enemy, and they attack the family all of the time. They attack, they divide it by color, by culture, by race. That's what they do because they're bad people. The family is the number one special interest group in the world, certainly should be in Alberta. And I hope that they kind of listen up here to the most specific interest group in the world. Of course, again, I repeat, I repeat, I repeat, is the family. The family is a powerful force that's available for fixing and adding focus for the betterment of a better land. Play this again, listen to that again, because it's profound and it's kind of important. You know, because in Alberta right now, uh, this latest poll, I don't know about polls. Sometimes I say they're only for strippers and dogs, but other times they're kind of an interesting influence, right? In Alberta right now, the Angus Reid Institute says the Wild Rose Party is uh, kind of rising in the polls. They're 20%, and Jason Kennedy's United Conservative Party is at 30%. Now, the commie parties are way above both of them, but the Wild Rose Party, they're just kind of getting their engine turned on. And I think if they use a bunch of these ideas, it not only 
come from me, but from many other people and from within. They have a great leader and they have all kinds of people with great ideas and hey, I don't get along with you anymore, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna be independent and I'm gonna separate, cha-cha. Will it happen? We're hopeful, y'all come back. See ya.